good morning children welcome to the english class again we will discuss about the kind dream in the last class we have discussed about the first para and the second para of the poem then we will remind it first they are the first when days begun to touch the beams of the morning sun they are the last to hold the light when evening changes into night and when a moon floats on the sky they hum a drowsy lullaby of sleepy children long ago trees are the kindest things i know here the last chanda it tells about the trees what do they do at night and what do they do for the children at night and when a moon floats on the sky here floats means move on water but here the poet uses float to move the sun move the moon in the air okay and when moon floats on the sky they hum a drowsy lullaby when the moon comes on the sky we see at that time it is night we know and when it comes the trees sing a song for the children because at that time the children are going to sleep the poet says here that because it is very lonely at night very silence time at that time when the wind blows the leaves of the trees rustles this sound is called the lullaby lullaby means a song which make the children to sleep okay so here the poet says that the trees sing a song for the children to make them sleep because at that time the children are going to sleep so the poet says here hum means that you have hum hum means singing a song in a low voice so the poet says trees are singing for the children trees are the kindest thing i know again the poet tells here that the trees are very kind because everything we collect from the trees we know here that the poet likes the nature the poet likes the trees tree is the most important part of nature so we can say that the poet likes the nature okay so he has written the poem about the tree okay children do you understand then we will discuss about the question and answer of this essays okay then we have already written seven questions then eight why do trees sing a song for children trees sing a song for children to make them sleep when the moon floats on the sky at night who does the word they refer to in the second stanza they means the word they means the trees that means the word they in the second stanza refers to the trees can trees do something good for human beings yes trees do something good for human beings they provide food shade cloth rain food and oxygen for human beings the poet in this poem likes trees too much does it mean he likes the nature why the poet likes the trees very much 
It means he likes the nature for its beauty and usefulness. What advice does the poet give us through this poem? The poet advises us to take care of the trees because they are very helpful. Let them grow. We should take care of them and we should plant trees to save our earth. Then the last question. Who writes first in the dawn? D-A-W-N. Look at this. D-A-W-N means early morning. Dawn means early morning or very early morning. To who writes first in the dawn or in the morning to touch the beams of the morning sun. The tree rises first in the dawn or early in the morning to touch the beams of the morning sun. Dear children, these are the 13 questions and answers of this poem. So we have to write clearly. I will send you all the questions and answers to you. Then we have to write clearly and correctly. Then by heart the question and answers. Okay? Have a good day.